Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I want to do a more, a little more of a fun video after that last one. Kind of a bummer. But I mean, you know, I, I always get, I mean, I don't want to ruin this last day, but I always get kind of bummed out about that. And then the news that John, you had problems and losses. You know, it's just sad. But, you know, it is what it is, you know. So we have to go on. <coughs> and, uh, I'll be doing uh, reviews of Solo Annihilation sometime down there. I, I don't want to... I'm going to do some movie reviews in this video, but I don't want to include Annihilation or Solo because those are special ones. I want to include some other ones. But the main thing is the interactive tag called the So Good is Bad movie tag. And these are... I mean, because the last time... I haven't done a tag in a long time, and then I did the Werewolf tag when I got home. Uh... On John's late Saturday night, and I thought it was cool. I saw a Leather and Jade do it. And then it was a uh, response to Queenie Todd's werewolf tag. And I became, I found out about Queenie Todd. And she's a really nice person. And then she's cool. She likes her horror movies and stuff. And then she did uh, some of the So Good is t uh, Bad tag about a week ago. And I watched it. I watched it earlier in the week. And, uh... <coughs> And I didn't get around to doing it, but I want to do it now. I have the time now on Sunday. Yeah, I mean, that's why it'd be tough to do this on a weekday Weekday when I go back to work, you know. But I, I, I'm going to be... I might do the solo video review for tomorrow. Or film it today and then post for tomorrow. Because that's different. And I like those are two different movies. They're special. Because so, I want to do reviews of Eyes Wide Shut and Bad Manners after this tag. Wait, did someone, someone say something? Mike Lee invited to like our table. Yeah, I've been getting more uh, invites to the other uh, channels. There's a thing called Our Table. I'm going like to like the page. Okay. I mentioned Our Table in this thing, too, along with Queenie Town. A whole bunch of other people. Where am I at? Yeah, I lost track. Okay, here I am. Okay, now let's get back to the so get good as bad thing. I'm going to put the questions <coughs> in the description, and everyone's welcome to join in. And anyone's, well, I mean, you say, you tag people to do this. I mean, anyone who's watching this video who's interested in doing this tag is more than welcome to do it. It's a lot of fun. It's like an interactive thing. I mean, it's so good, bad, it's a good movie. It's like a, a bad movie that's awesomely bad. You know what I mean? That's entertaining. Like Showgirls is entertaining. I mean, not like a, I've seen a lot of bad movies that are awful that suck. Like Tremor 6, Cold Day in Hell, that was boring and lousy. There's a difference. I mean, a lot of times they're so bad, it's good. Some movie that's unintentionally hilarious, and it's a really good time watching it. Tag the Kill Tomatoes, for example. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. So, uh, let's go ahead and check out the questions. I'll put the link to the description of the questions in the... Uh, uh, yeah, link to the questions from her video in the uh, uh, description as well. Okay, let's go see what she has. Okay, the thing is... What is so great about so bad as good movies? Because they're a lot of fun, they're entertaining, they're great escapism, they're just like so cheesy and fun, like The Room. I mean, it's like, like I said, there's a difference between good bad movies and bad bad movies. A bad bad movie is one like <coughs> so boring and irritating because I just saw one that I thought was horrible that I'm going to be reviewing. I couldn't, I couldn't. I didn't, I couldn't stand it. But some people put down the so bad, it's good movie. A review for that Bad Manners coming up later on in the video. I thought that was terrible. Now that's what's so great about bad, I mean it's good escapism. And you know, you forget about your troubles of your day and stuff. What are some of your favorite so bad, it's good movies, one to three? I'm going to put, I mean there's so many. I want to put some of the lesser known ones. Because I want, I want to do imitation from the room. I want to put like The Room or Troll 2 and stuff like that. Like Queenie Todd did those. I want to put some more uh, different ones on there. Horror of the Spider Island. Uh, Killer Workout, which I just saw. Well, no, I mean, John and I watched Eerie Movie House last month. And I'm waiting for Slaughter Film to put, like, their videos for, uh, their video, like, intro that they did for the thing, like they did for Drill Killer and uh, Reefer Madness. And, yeah, I'm waiting for that to perform. But if I don't see it, 
within a week or so. I just put up the video. That is the one that uh, John and I did for a while that didn't get lost. I mean, because the last two videos, reviews we did last night got lost or deleted by accident. So, um, that one, well, I killed a workout, uh, tag killed tomatoes. I always have to mention that. And like I said, Horrors of Spider Island. Would you rather spend a day one So Bad It's Good movies or comedies? They're both about the same, but So Bad It's Good is more of an enjoyable escape and thing. But I'd like to see different movies, you know? But I'd probably spend a day one So Bad It's Good movies. Uh, depending on the comedy, though. If it's like something like it's Mad, 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 Mad World, I want to watch that. What are some of your favorite underrated, undiscovered So Bad It's Good movies or generally films most people don't consider to be So Bad It's Good, but you do? Uh... <clears throat> well, no one ever talks about Hordes of Spider Island or, uh, or generally, I mean, those are, I mean, just ones that people don't talk about. People just say that movie just sucks. You know what I mean? Or there's a Burt Reynolds movie that I love. I think it's a great movie that a lot of people hate it called Stick. Stick was a great movie, and most people really hated on that movie, but I can watch it all the time. It's a lot of fun. Uh, and uh, like I said, it said, that's the fourth question. Okay, and then the fifth question, reenact or quote some of your favorite scenes in So Bad Good. That's the fifth question. That's the final question. Uh, we now quote some. I'll tell you, I got three good ones. One, I mean, I have to do... The room, could I can imitate that, uh, that one guy, the Wizzo guy. Because <laughs> I just saw the Disaster Artist on, uh, now the Disaster Artist, the movie about <coughs> the making of The Room is on Amazon now for free, the Disaster. I don't know if The Room is, but Disaster Artist is Tommy Wiseau. And also, he's supposed to be doing a movie called Best Friends. I saw a commercial for it from Fathom Events. I don't know if it already premiered or what. For like two days only, him movie that him and his uh, his other buddy. The movie he did, I think he did. Disaster Arts is a great movie, but the Disaster Arts is like critically acclaimed movie. And you know, I thought uh, Jane, uh, Jane Franco did a great job imitating uh, Tommy Wiseau. I mean, I did a review of that early in the week, but I mean, the quotes I want to say from the room is like. You're telling me apart, Lisa! Or, uh, what's say, that one? It's not true. I mean, it's not true. It didn't happen. I'd not hit, wait a second. I didn't hit her. It's not true. It's a lie. It's bullshit. I not hit I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Something like, I can't remember the exact quote, because I was thinking of uh, him keep repeating his lines in the disaster, and then it made me forget the entire quote, word by word. Then, uh, Tag Kill Tomatoes was, uh, <coughs> they had this guy that was a so stupid uh, disguised artist in the movie, and he was sent to infiltrate the enemy camp of the tomatoes. They're eating people, so he dressed as a tomato himself. And there's a the scene around the fireplace, uh, no, not fireplace, uh, like a campfire with the tomatoes right there, giant tomatoes. And he's right in the middle, dressed as tomato. So stupid. And then they pass, like, arms and legs and stuff like that. Oh, you like an egg? We like an arm? And, he, and then he says, hey, would you pass the ketchup? And he's like this. Ah, like that. That was so bad. That was hilarious. And then, um, killer workout. Because I mentioned that in the video. Now, this video that I did with John, did we did that. And then this one I do have. I, I got waiting for Slaughter from to put their intro to the movie before I put this up. Yeah, if they don't... Uh, I might put it up sometime next week. So you guys see one more movie review with John and myself. Um, I still have a couple of food reviews with John and myself from the next couple of days, and that might be it. Um, I won't be seeing him for a while. Uh, oh, what the hell was I going to say now? Oh, yeah, and Killer Workout. All these people are being slaughtered in this uh, aerobics studio. And um, they had the guy, they keep having scenes of the guy zipping up body bags and then you know, two guys take him out. And then the cop was right there. And the guy picked up the body. He looked at the cop and goes, see you tomorrow, Lieutenant. <laughs> it was so bad. So that's my tag. Anyone wants to uh, do this tag, you're more than welcome to. If you love movies and stuff, it's interactive. It's, I mean, could they say you tag people by name? But I mean, I don't think I should have to. 
Well, I mean, I can, but I mean, I, it's, uh, the tag's open to anybody. Anyone wants to do it. Because um, I haven't done tags in a while because that was a big thing <coughs> for me to do uh, 2014, 2015 because that's something different for the channel, you know. I haven't really done it. Like, I did the werewolf one. I haven't done a tag in, like, a couple years. So I thought I'd do this, and I want to include a couple movie reviews. Um, well, that Christopher Spose has been very nice to me. He's been sending links to different movies. He sent links to, uh, I can't remember. What did you, oh, Transvania Twist. Which I got confused with Saturday 14 Strikes Back. Because I barely remember anything from Saturday, for, Saturday 14 Strikes Back because that was a terrible movie. But Transvania Twist was really good. I reviewed that. Um, he sent me one for Batman and then the Unseen. I haven't seen the Unseen. Well, I've seen the Unseen a long time ago. I, I, I was going to watch it. I don't think I have time to watch it tonight. I might watch something that John sent me that he was talking about and do a special video movie review of that. Independent movie with Rob Williams. <coughs> and the one thing about this is uh, he sent me Bad Manners and Batman is some movie that exists I never heard of before. And like some weird, uh, some people love the movie. Uh, I couldn't get into it. I, 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 this is one I didn't like because I like '80s movies. But it's like some bizarre reform slash orphanage where the adults were mean to the kids and the kids were all mean and nasty. I don't know how Martin Mull or Karen Black got involved in this, but it's really a terrible movie. Cause they adopt this one kid, he trashes the house. It doesn't, it just is weird. I mean, I don't mind weird movies, but this is just, I mean, I didn't like it. It was just so bad, it was bad. I mean, usually it's, it's like being like, so bad it's good, it's a good time, but this one, I, this one wasn't to me. I couldn't get into it all. I mean, I didn't like anybody in the movie. I'd probably give it that one a 2 out of 10. But thank you for sharing with me, Christopher. I never heard of the movie before. <coughs> I was shocked. I went to IMDb. I thought I'd get a ton of, I'd get really bad score. I got a score of 6.3. I was like, what's going on? I didn't get, I get that too. Now, the next one is Eyes Wide Shut. Now, I've seen a lot of uh, Stanley Kubrick's movies. Not every one. There's a couple I haven't seen, like Barry Lyndon and stuff like that. Um, but I've seen, well, I saw Pass the Glory later on. You know, I saw stuff like The Shining, of course, 2001, Clockwork Orange, uh, Doctor Strange Love. Full Metal Jacket, of course. What were some other ones he did? And uh, AI, Artificial Intelligence one. And uh, let me look at his film. I think that's those are the ones I've seen. I think I, those are all of them. I mentioned all of them. I'm pretty sure. And uh, one I never saw was Eyes Wide Shut. And I heard there was lots of buzz about that movie. That was his last, like... One he really, really did. I mean, AI was like a project that when he passed, it seems Spielberg took over. <coughs> and this one revolves, Amber said it, it freaked her out. And this one revolves uh, Nicole Kidman and uh, Matt, Tom Cruise, almost said Matt Damon. I don't know how I just got that. And it's supposed to be like an erotic thriller. I didn't think it was very erotic, though. It has uh, those two, and, you know, they go to dance, and he's a doctor. And they're both like high profile, and they have lots of money. And she talks about uh, they were in, they were in bed, and she was talking about uh, having uh, cheating on him. And then after that, he goes on some weird little uh, thing where he has to associate this person that passed away. And then he goes, ends up going to this one place. It's like I don't know if it's a cult or something. Everyone wears masks, and it just goes from there. It, it's very unusual. I love. I love the way they use the soundtrack. And the soundtrack, is, I mean, it's really easy to memorize the soundtrack. They pound the soundtrack home. The theme music home. And, uh, but the theme music really works in the movie. I liked it, though. It's, I mean, I didn't love it, though. I was, I thought it'd be a little bit better than what it was. It's really long. It's like two hours and 40 minutes. I saw it on Netflix, though. So if you want to check it out, definitely check it out on Netflix. I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10. I thought it was okay. <coughs> so I hope you all like this video. A little more upbeat than the other one. But, I mean, I had to, I was kind of bummed out. But I going back where then that John lost those things. But, I mean, it happens. So, I hope you like this video, everybody. Until next time, please, everybody, please take care of my legion.